What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. I get a lot of questions about how to set up side chaining with VSTs, external devices, and reason. And I'm finna show you how to do it. Now, some of them might, might not be compatible, and I'm gonna show you how to tell if it's compatible. All right, let's get straight into it. Alright, so we are in Reason 11 right now, and this will apply for earlier versions that have uh, VST support as well. Now, I'm going to sidechain this 808 and kick using plugins. So, let's just drag in some options. We're going to put these in the 808 insert section. I'm also going to drag in this mono one to show you what happens with that if you decided to use a mono plugin. Let's go ahead and add a few compressors, uh, a few more compressors, and I'll jump back into it. All right, exhibit A, FabFilter Pro C2. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like to set it up, how to set it up. This might be all you need to know. So let's um, just bring down this CV programmer here, and I'll actually collapse everything else in this insert section. All right, dope. So we got a kick, and I'll let you hear it without any processing so you can see what it sounds like. I'm tripping. That's what it sounds like with no side chaining. So we're going to flip over to the back of the rack and pay attention to this part. This might be all you want to see. So, going to grab your compressor, put it up in the insert section. And you're going to take the parallel out of the kick. And you're going to drag it to the optional end of the compressor that you would like to use. Now, how do you know which input to put it in? Well, it's going to be lit up. If it's not lit up, then those inputs will not be active in that plugin. So, for example, if you see these mono plugins right here, these mono plugins aren't compatible in Reason. Now, it's not lit up. Given you can use these plugins as regular compressors, you just cannot use a mono plugin to activate any kind of side chaining. Another thing that's not compatible in Reason are Waves plugins. Now, you can use them to do your typical audio processing, but if you want to use a Waves plugin to do any type of sidechain compression, it's not going to work. They are not compatible, and that is as of October 8th, 2020. Now, at a later date, they may be possible. It may be possible, but as of right now, it is not. So I'm just going to delete these Waves plugins and these mono versions of the plugins out of this chain. Of course, we're only gonna do one at a time, but I wanted to show you a few options so you can see what works and what doesn't. So that is FabFilter Pro Q. Let's go ahead and flip it over and get some compression going. All right, so I'm gonna play the audio and you'll be able to see the input coming from the other, from the kick. So let's just drop open the side chain window here. We're going to hit this external button because we have an external input. And let's look at it. All right, so it works and you can set up your settings to however you want to, of course, depending on the compressor you're using. All right, so next up, um, we have a few more Waves plugins. Um, of course, as I said before, they are not compatible for side chaining and reason, and I'll prove that to you with the LEDs in a second. All right, next in line, we have a C6, and we'll go ahead and expand the CV programmer and flip over to the back, and you'll see that there is no active input here. All right, same for the H comp. 
there's no active input. So we'll just delete both of these. And we'll also get rid of the R compressor because that is also a Waves plugin. All right, cool. Next we got Track Spacer. And Track Spacer is in fact compatible with Reason. This is Track Spacer 25 and even the older version is still compatible with Reason. You have these optional inputs here on the back. As for some other companies and brands that are compatible with Reason, Slate Digital plugins are compatible with sidechaining and Reason. Um, IK Multimedia is also compatible with sidechaining and Reason. With that being said, I'm now going to show you how to sidechain in Reason and use the EQ option, which is why many people prefer to use external devices to sidechain. Now with that being said, there isn't multi-band sidechaining per se, but you do have access to an EQ when you are sidechaining in Reason. So let's get rid of Track Spacer and we'll flip over to the back of the rack. We'll take this parallel from the kick and we'll put it into the sidechain input of the 808. Could flip over to the front and now we're going to hop into the mixer. F6 to hop into the mixer. Let's open up this dynamic section here. And you'll see the button lit on the key input here for the 808, which is what you want. So just turn that on. Okay, and then we'll turn the threshold down and the ratio all the way up for extreme settings just to start off with. All right, let's say that's where you want to leave your settings. In order to get this EQ to work with this sidechain compressor, what you want to do is open up the EQ. And you'll see this option right here. And it says filters to dynamic sidechain. So we're going to turn this on. So you'll just turn this on and you'll turn on the low pass filter. And you could turn on the high pass filter if you want to pass any of the highs. In my case, uh, I will not turn that one on. We will just be affecting this knob here. So let's listen. So right now it's not side chaining anything, but as we start to bring this up, what's the lowest this thing goes? 100 hertz. As we start to bring this up, you will see and be able to hear it ducking more, and we can make this more uh, drastic so you can hear it better. Now this comes in handy if you have a loop already playing and it has a snare and hi-hats in it and you just want to isolate a certain frequency and have that side chain or something like that. So with that being said, that's all I wanted to show y'all today. If you have any questions, definitely let me know down in the comment section. I said definitely all messed up. If you like this video, I suggest that you also go check out video I have on sound selection, picking the right kicks and 808s and mixing them together to make them sound good in your beats. All right. It's all culture, kick back and cook up.